Howdy, folks. It's Dr. Jeff Camarda uh, reporting uh, the, on the coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus crown, right? So I'm wearing Tim's old costume jewelry crown, kind of inject a little levity uh, into an otherwise dire report. Um, and happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, March 17, 2020. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day to you all, but please, please refrain from gatherings, be of good cheer, but celebrate privately. The economic impact on the United States and, and hence on stock market values will be largely determined by how well Americans adopt social distancing practices to protect themselves and others. If we do this well, we can minimize damage and hope for a speedy return to a new bull market at stocks. But if the virus spreads so fast as to overwhelm our medical capacity, which is uh, 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 of which we're at significant risk, like it's happened in Italy and it's starting to happen in Spain, we're in for a protracted recession. That will get really ugly. So please take this seriously. Urge others to take it seriously. Idiots having idiots having plague parties and mass gatherings like are happening right this minute on Clearwater Beach in Florida put us all at risk. That said, I'm confident that we'll manage uh, this and return to economic prosperity uh, later this year, uh, but we do have to be careful. The market's already taken a real beating, and while it's up now today as, uh, as I record this, after uh, yesterday's bloody Monday, it's too early really to call the body, although I think we're probably not too far. For Caesar investors, I need to mention that our oil stocks, along with Carnival Cruise Lines, have gotten understandably hammered. While we're studying this closely and will not make any rash decisions, oil, of course, has plunged in the wake of the Saudi-Russia spat, with both countries dumping oil in a price war that has dinged high-cost producers like American shale oil operators. Oil equipment and service companies like Halliburton and uh, Schlumberger have gone down far more than the market, about which obviously I'm not very happy, um, but uh, we think that it's a bit overblown. Um, and while the I mean, we think the situation is temporary and should normalize uh, later in the year, we're not making any quick moves. We continue to monitor it very closely, but do expect oil prices to rise later this year and those hard hit companies to recover, uh, uh, Schlumberger and Halliburton, and uh, along with our other oils. So to close for today, here's some valuable virus insight from a doctor in China, a, uh, a family friend um, the, or uh, who shared it with a family friend who's an American doctor. And I think this is really very valuable gold information, not getting on the news. So please pay attention, take it to heart, pass along. So again, this is uh, translated from the Chinese, but it's, uh, it is pretty large in size. The cell is about 400 to 500 nanometers in diameter. So any normal mask, not just the N95 uh, mask, should be able to filter it out. However, when someone who's infected sneezes in front of you, it will take a great three meters, about 10 feet, before it drops to the ground is no longer airborne. So keep your distance, that's three meters now, right? 10 feet from anybody exhibiting symptoms, particularly in, in sneezing or coughing. When a virus drops on a metal surface, it will live for at least 12 hours. So remember, if you come in contact with any metal surface, I presume other uh, cool hard surfaces like countertops, wash your hands with soap thoroughly. The virus can remain on fabric for six to 12 hours. Normal laundry detergent should kill the virus. For winter clothing that does not require daily washing, you can put it out under the sun to kill the virus. About the symptoms of the, of the, the pneumonia, sorry, the pneumonia that's caused by the coronavirus, um, it will first infect the throat. So the throat will have the dry, sore throat feeling which will last for three to four days. Then the virus will blend into the nasal fluid and drips into the trachea and enter the lungs, causing pneumonia. This process will take five to six days. With pneumonia comes high fever and difficulty in breathing. The nasal congestion is not like the normal kind. You will feel like you are drowning in water. It's important to go seek immediate medical attention if you feel like this. The most common way of getting infected is by touching things in public, so you must wash your hands frequently. The virus can only live on your hands for five to 10 minutes, but a lot can happen in those five to 10 minutes, so particularly if you rub your eyes or pick your nose unwittingly or, or affect other mucus, mucus, mucus on your face. Aside from washing your hands frequently, 
You can gargle with Benadine, B-E-T-A-D-I-N-E, sore throat gargle to eliminate or minimize the germs while they're still in your throat before dripping down to your lungs. That uh, medication was still available on Amazon when I first read this. I bought some and I suggest that you do as well. And again, this is you know kind of frontline information uh, from the, uh, the, the fairly successful fight the Chinese have waged against the coronavirus. And I do certainly implore you to take it seriously. And for now, I'll just be crowned myself. There we go, Kimberly. I'm back to my ordinary non-royal status. And um, bear up, be of good cheer, but be careful. And remember, we will get through this as uh, we always have before. So as always, thank you so much for watching. This is Dr. Jeff Camarda signing out for today.